Before you start learning robotics, computer vision, machine learning or any subfield of artificial intelligence, you should definitely spend some time trying to understand your core reasons why you want to learn these subdomains. I have a separate video titled Start With Why. Identify your core reasons of why you really want to learn robotics. So make sure to check that video before watching this video. In this video, I'll be talking about the top five worst reasons why you could be pursuing robotics, computer vision or machine learning. There can be a variety of different reasons why you actually are motivated to start studying these fields, but you want to make sure that you don't start learning these fields for the wrong reasons. What are these wrong reasons? The following are top five worst reasons to start pursuing any field. Number one is I don't know what to do. This is probably the worst reason you could give to start learning a field. And this applies not just to robotics and artificial intelligence, but it's general career advice that you explore several different fields before you actually commit to one particular field and try to study it deeply. I don't know what to do. I don't know what field to study is not a valid enough excuse to randomly pick a topic. You could easily get an overview of different subfields of artificial intelligence and robotics online and you could get a glimpse of the type of work you could expect to do. So make sure that you rule out this excuse to randomly choose computer vision or data science or any other topic that is trendy. The second reason which is connected to the first reason is everyone else is doing it. This is probably the most common reason. Hey, everyone else is learning artificial intelligence. Everyone else is going in the machine learning direction. So even though I like electronics, even though I like mechanical design, I would want to go into artificial intelligence because it's trendy. And this is another bad reason. The reason why it is bad is because you have to evaluate your own personal strengths, interests and goals in order to actually choose a career path for yourself. What everyone else is doing is none of your business. So make sure you don't blindly follow the crowd. Number three is a practical reason. However, it's still not the best reason to start pursuing robotics, computer vision or machine learning. The third reason is I want to earn more money. Yes, that's true that machine learning and data science are highly paid and you can get paid a lot if you enter these fields. But so are a variety of other fields. In some cases, you could even get paid more as a general software engineer or a web developer than a machine learning engineer if you're good at your work. Also, money is not a strong enough motivator to keep you engaged with your work in the long run. Your goal should not simply be to get a job in a company. It should actually be to grow in your particular field. And that would only happen if, if you're genuinely interested in the field and the job and if you're interested in your work and if you like your work so that you would be spending more time improving your skills. So in the long run, if you're actually interested in the field, you'd probably be paid more in the future. So don't make the mistake of choosing a field just because it promises more money. Of course, money is important and take that factor into account, but that should not be the primary reason to switch fields. Number four is again connected to the previous point and is another practical reason. I cannot invalidate it. The reason goes like there will always be enough jobs in machine learning or that robotics is the future. Companies are starting to hire more and more robotics engineers, which is a valid reason. But again, it should not be the core reason. The core reason to pursue a field is because you genuinely are interested in it. It is also common sense that if you like your field, if you like your work, you would be more engaged in it and you would be more fulfilled at the end of the day. And obviously, if you spend a lot of time studying a field out of pure interest, then you would probably be able to get a job. Of course, I'm not denying the fact that getting a job is important and money is also important. And I have created a separate video on why you should be looking for jobs before you start learning robotics, computer vision or machine learning. And that covers the more practical aspects of how you should be getting started with learning these fields and actually defining one particular subdomain which you want to pursue as a career. So check out that video. But by means of that video, I in no way aim to say that 
simply better job opportunity is the best reason to pursue a field sure it can be one of the reasons but it should not be the core reason and the last reason is connected to point number one you don't really like your current job if you are a working employee and you're working as a mechanical engineer or electronics engineer or even as a software engineer and you don't enjoy your job you generally consider two options either pursue a master's or switch jobs in both these cases you might also be entertaining the thought of actually switching fields but before you decide to switch fields take a step back to actually evaluate whether you really don't enjoy the job or is it the field that you're currently in does not interest you anymore so if you're still interested in the field if you still enjoy the work i guess switching the job and not the field would be sufficient so all of these points are in some way or another interconnected and the core idea that i want to convey is that you want to pursue a field like robotics and artificial intelligence for the right reasons i'll also make a separate video on the top reasons why you should be studying robotics or artificial intelligence i'm making these more you might have noticed that i've switched the content that i'm making from podcasts and meetups to these general suggestion videos where i share step by step methodologies on how you can start learning these fields some traps to avoid during your learning journey and some ideas on how you can actually design your own personal curriculum and the reason for this is simply that there is a lot of information already existing online but for someone who wants to self learn these fields there is no well defined structure or road map on how you can start learning these fields so all of these videos will actually converge to a framework where you can just go and follow the step by step methodology blindly to start learning these fields and define a career for yourself a glimpse of a glimpse of that framework is embedded on the website learn robotics and ai.com so feel free to check that out also if you enjoy the new videos make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave your thoughts in the comments as that would help me understand whether these new videos are helpful or not